Good morning, everyone. My name is Rabbi Uri Lesser, Director of Pastoral Care here at Berwyn Jewish Nursing and Rehab. I hope everyone had a wonderful week. We'll begin our weekly Onik Shabbat, the same way we do every week with the singing of Shalom Aleichem, welcoming the Shabbos angels into our homes. Shalom Aleichem, Malachay Asharis, Malachay Elyon. Mihi melech malchei hamlochim akadosh baruchu. Shalom aleichem malchei asherez malchei elyon. Mihi melech malchei hamlochim akadosh baruchu. Shalom Aleichem, Malachai Ashur, Eis Malachai El Yon. Mi'i Melech, Malachai Amlochim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Boachem Lishalom, Malachai Ashalom, Malachai El Yon. Mi melech malchai hamlochim akadosh baruch hu. Boachem lishalom malchai ashalom malchai elyon. Mi melech malchai hamlochim akadosh baruch hu. Boachem lishalom, alochei asholom, alochei elyon. Mi melech malchei hamlochim, akadosh baruch hu. Boruchu ni lishalom, alochei asholom, alochei elyon. Mi melech malchai amlochim akadosh baruch hu. Baruch hu ni lishalom alochai asholom alochai elyon. Mi melech malchai amlochim akadosh baruch hu. Baruch Hu Nile Shalom Alechei Asholom Alechei Elyon Mi Melech Malchei Amlochim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Seiz Chem Leshalom Alechei Asholom Alechei Elyon Mi melech malchai hamlochim akadosh baruch hu. Seiz chem lishalom alochei asholom alochei elyon. Mi melech malchai hamlochim akadosh baruch hu. Seiz chem lishalom alochei asholom alochei elyon. Mi melech malchei hamlochim akadosh baruch hu. In this week's Torah reading, Parshat Vayigash, we hit the climax of the story of Joseph and his brothers. Joseph, as we recall, was sold down toward the land of Egypt and became the second in command in a world which was very, very suffering from a famine that was worldwide. And Joseph had an idea to save up money for the Egyptians, and Egypt became the place to go to for food, and the whole world would, world would travel to Egypt. So Jacob and his sons needed food as well. They traveled down to Egypt, and they were met by Joseph, who they did not recognize as someone 22 years ago who had left them, who they sold, and he was the second in command in Egypt. 
And Joseph was stringing them all along a little bit to see if the brothers would recognize who he was. And this is a battle of back and forth. Joseph knew his brothers. Well, obviously, his brothers and the brothers did not recognize him. And Joseph wanted the brothers to realize that he was Joseph. And the question is, why? Why didn't Joseph just say right away, hey, you know, I'm your brother you sold. We know from later in the Torah that Joseph didn't have a grudge against his brothers. He knew it was all from God. So if he know, knew it was all from God, why wouldn't he just tell his brothers right away, you know, you guys sold me, but God had different plans, and I don't blame you, and I forgive you. And that was the case. So why didn't Joseph just tell his brothers this from the outset? And the answer is that he wanted his brothers to realize on their own they made a mistake. But part of the reason why the brothers didn't recognize it was Joseph is because in their mind, Joseph was a bad person. Joseph was a nobody. And there's no way they could possibly imagine he went up in the ranks to be such a high person in the entire world, second in charge of pretty much the entire world. So they would never have imagined it being Joseph there. So they didn't recognize it was him after all these years. But Joseph wanted them to realize. And finally, when the story hit a climax, and Judah and Joseph were arguing back and forth, back and forth, and Joseph saw that Judah and the brothers were not recognizing him, he said, you know, I am your brother Joseph. And, and basically, he, he let them know what happened all these years. And the shock for the brothers is something unimaginable. And it comes to show us that in life, a lot of times we think we're right, and we think so much that we're right, we can't even see the other side of the equation, the other person, what they're thinking. If I know I might be right or I might be wrong, and we're having a disagreement, so then maybe I think I'm right, but at least I could see your other side. But the brothers, in their mind, were 100% right, and they couldn't imagine themselves being wrong until Judah, Joseph himself pointed this out to them. It's a lesson in the way we treat other people, the way we interact with other people, and even when we don't agree on something, we always have to view a little bit, maybe they're right. And once you view from their angle, from their perspective, we get along and live peacefully together.
We just finished the holiday of Hanukkah here at Gerwin with the menorah lighting and the wonderful, delicious food. And now we go on to the next part of the Hebrew calendar, the month of Teves in the winter. In the month of Teves coming up, we have a small recognition, a small fast day coming up this coming week, which began the tragedy of the destruction of the temple. And this is the tragedy of the siege around the city of Jerusalem. For before the city of Jerusalem was destroyed and the temple was destroyed, they were surrounded by the Babylonians, I believe by the Romans, in the siege that took over two years. And during this time, there's a lot of internal conflict or internal fighting within Jerusalem. Should we fight them back? Should we let them in? And unfortunately, the reality was that the internal fighting themselves led to the downfall. Because there was a point in time when the Babylonians, the Romans, just couldn't break the wall, couldn't get in. They were about to give up. But internally, when they realized internally there's problems within the Jewish people, that's when they realized that they should hold out and wait for the right time to attack, which is what they did. And the lesson we could all learn from this is that how important it is, even when we don't agree fully, we have to get along with somebody else. We have to live with other people. In the facility here, maybe not every aide, maybe not every roommate is the best roommate or the best aide, but at the end of the day, we're living together. And you don't have to agree with everything that the other person does, but you still have to understand that how important it is to live peacefully and harmoniously. And as the phrase always goes, it takes two people to fight, two people to get into an argument. And if you're nice to the other person, even when you don't see eye to eye, inevitably they'll be nice to you back and you'll be able to live peacefully with them. No, no, la, ma, sher, ma, la. With her am call, yet's here in Ivra. Lies Nasa, Bechaf, so call as I melev, Shemonik, Viachare, Tichlos Hako. The Vahada, Yemlok Nora, Vuhaya, Vuhoven, Who ye he ever the ancient. Am Shila, the Hakvira, the Lirish, the Lisaklis, the Ho, the Hamis, the Ho, Kaili, the Kaigoali, the Rakhavli, the Ace Nasa, the Ho Nisi, Uma Nosli, and Ask Hosi, the Omek, the Yahada, the Kis Ruki, the Ace Ishan, the Yahira, the Yamruki, the Yasi. Ado Shamli Velo Yo. Happy, healthy Shabbat. Great weekend. We'll see everybody next week.